So when it comes to Tilray's technical setup, we're gonna look at this in the daily candle viewpoint first. Of course, as of right now, uh, I'm starting the process of averaging into my position for Tilray. You're actually at the lowest point of what seems like a long-term bearish trend. We have the same exact thing like this playing out in the highest point going down in your descending resistances. Let's bring it into the monthly viewpoint to give you a better image. And everything from the past, even to this high right here, has been chipped away and more. There is no more descending resistances to kind of halt your momentum. The only thing you're playing with in the daily candle point of view is your ascending supports and resistances. So you're kind of just fluctuating throughout this trading channel. Of course, you're projected to see death as in points to 950 and maybe even 10 to be hit again. But when it comes to your recent trend, and the strength that you've been getting over these past couple of weeks. I'm looking for Tilray to really take its support bounce in between the highest ranges of 11 to the lowest ranges of possibly 1050, and that could send you into this higher low again to simply just retest this again and hope for that breakout to get gap ups close to 15 to 16. I love the technical setup for Tilray. I love the marijuana sector from here, and I'm honestly a buyer for it. So I'm gonna start the process of averaging down, and I'm just gonna hope for the best while I prepare for the worst. The technical setup is there and more for Tilray, and I'm just gonna ride the train. I, I wanna see this at $100 in at least two years. True.